<clears throat> Hello, this is my, uh, me and Frank Delgado's comp photo project. So, uh, this is our, this is our code. Let's run this real quick. I'm going to try and get through this fast because there's a lot of stuff that I need to go over in five minutes. It's like my seventh draft. So, uh, this is the main menu on the left we have the editable image on the right we have a representation of what the image was originally you have this button stroke button it uh strokes the image like this pointing 45 degrees reset button brings it back to normal you have this contrast and saturation menu you can slider uh, you can slide the uh, sliders back and forth they uh, increase decrease the contrast uh saturation and the color palette um return will return nothing so it doesn't change this menu and uh, if I just use the color palette and save and return, it sends it back to the main menu for you to see and then for you to take to other menus. So to the blur menu, the blur menu um, does what it says it does. It blurs the image. There's a Gaussian and averaging blurring. The save and return and return, they work as they uh, did before. So how you do work this is you set the slider to what you want. You, slit, uh, you select Gaussian or averaging and I selected averaging. I'll click apply very blurs the image it blurs it a lot so i'll select gaussian bring it down a little bit and then apply and much much easier to make out what things are so same return bring that back so this is our blurred and color palette image so we're going to take this to our main screen or like this is our main screen but you know the the other big screen which is the visualizer so what this does <coughs> is it takes a while to load that's what it does it uh it displays the image on five different graphs so this graph is just the rgb values uh, altogether graphed this is the um gray graphed this is the grayscale histogram graphed this is the red values green values and blue values graphed so um at the bottom we have the red pixel values green pixel values and blue pixel values pretty self-explanatory the max of the red pixels is 189 the min is zero the median is 47 and the average is 52.48 what these buttons do is they push the color to um, that value so let's say uh, i want to push all the blue values to the max i want to move it all upwards so i'm going to click the max button and it's going to push all the blue values somewhat towards max depending on how big they are so if they're smaller then they will go up more if they're already pretty high like this if this it won't change the max at all if it's already at 160 that pixel is not going to change but it will change the others so as you can see it did taint the image a little bit blue let's say uh, i think there's too much green in this image i'm going to i'm going to uh, lower it a little bit i'm going to make it uh, slide towards the minimum and as you can see, it made the image a little bit purple because uh, it's now just red and blue. And I think that's actually too low. Let's click on average. Let's average it out. So it increased it like a little bit, but it was kind of hard to see. I could, I could click it again and make it uh, average it out a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Nice look. Nice looking odd filter on this thing now. So these buttons over here, we have returns and returns. They do as they uh, did before in the other windows, and we have reload. So what reload will do is it will reset all these graphs with this new image that I've created. So we can check out the new um, histograms and stuff. So it takes a little bit to load. There's a lot of calculations that it needs to do. <clears throat> so um, the histogram looking very weird now. Red looks the same because we didn't edit red at all only the greens and blues the histogram of the gray is looking kind of messed up it's kind of hard to see because it's yellow on white um the greens is it has this weird pattern where it like uh goes up a little bit in like little spots same with the blue um but yeah let's say i like this image but uh yeah no, i like this image i'm gonna save it so i go same return bring it back to the home page and i click the save button and it will make me a new image new image.png look at that crazy look at how good that image is show that kid show that image to my kids it's great and uh, that is a very fast way to go over my project or me and frank's project thank you